On this episode, we travel with new friends to great heights. The road literally goes all the way up. Look, you can see it. Through century-old ghost towns and ancient limestone slot canyons. On a trail with some of the most beautiful backcountry that Death Valley has to offer. Episode 56 of Far From Ordinary starts now. Today we are meeting up with our friend Danielle. Together we'll be driving through Titus Canyon, a 26 mile point to point trail which travels up over Red Pass through mountainous valleys ending in Death Valley. We got a lot more than we bargained for. Quite the Jeep trail when a uh, soccer mom van comes through. It's a really pretty drive, though. It is very pretty. At this point, the trail starts to climb steeply up a shelf road to Red Pass at an elevation of 5,250 feet. I think it's safe to say that none of us expected this. That's a long, that's a long freaking way down. One little, one little mishap with the tire and that's it. Whoopsie. One little whoopsie and you're rolled over. I didn't do any research on this trail because I don't I don't know if I would have I don't know if we would have come I think we would have chickened out um, yeah this isn't what I was expecting I thought it was just gonna be like a cute little semi boring drive like yeah a scenic drive After cresting Red Pass, we were rewarded with some of the most breathtaking views in Death Valley National Park. So we were in the historic town of Leadville, and this place only lasted like six months. And they pretty much just packed up and left all of their stuff here. It's crazy to find this place in the middle of this canyon, in the middle of nowhere, especially after driving in what we just did. So we're gonna explore the area a little bit and then be on our way. The story of Leadfield is steeped in rich history. In 1925, the town had started to boom with several mines producing lead. Really? 
Charles C. Julian, president of the Western Lead Mines, began advertising, and soon the town was swarming with prospectors and additional mining companies. In 1925, he had Titus Canyon Road built for a cost of $60,000. One year later, the ore ran dry, and together with Julian's holding company being ordered to halt trading, the town began its slow collapse. The post office, built in August of 1926, was shut down just six months later in February of 1927. Today, Leadfield is a ghost town and can be easily visited by those adventurous enough to make the trip. As for us, the best part of our journey was right around the corner. Anything cool from back there? And you can change the... Also, this is the coolest part. This is pretty amazing. As the canyon opened up marking the end of our journey, we were reminded of how thankful we were for the opportunity to make this trip with friends through the always changing, awe-inspiring Death Valley National Park.